the New Zealand Psychological Society has produced a report that has directly links um, mental health and poverty. And we can now say 40% of um, mental health difficulties are caused by poverty. Um, so we want to be uh, telling people, the, the government, uh, all those that work in the area of mental health that we need to reduce poverty um, if we're going to see a difference in mental health problems. If you see your life as hopeless, you've got um, no reason to actually sort of continue living and you're struggling, then inevitably you're, you're not going to be able to um, A, look after yourself, but also access the community supports that you require, but also seek out mental health professionals. So what we know is those people, whether particularly our Māori Pacific communities, do not access mental health. Up to 60% um, of those who commit suicide do not receive any mental health support. If we've now got evidence that poverty is one of the main causes of mental health, we have to make sure that we actually deal with poverty and not actually what I think some people think is a relatively cheap option of only dealing with mental health. The challenge for many governments is not to have to deal with the messy sy uh, systemic problems. It's probably maybe easier to say, well, we'll pay for non-professionals to do short CBT, you know, cognitive behavioral therapy programs, rather than actually have to really think, how do we provide good housing? How do we provide good schooling? How do we make sure that these young people have the things that they need to thrive? They, it, is, it is hard, but this is, this is absolutely essential if we want our community, our, our population in Aotearoa, New Zealand to, to flourish.